Yeah, dogs in the original Resident Evil are a bit easy to deal with and less than a big group. That's why I quite like the dogs in the remakes. They hover. Oh god! Yep, see what I mean? If they're in a group, they fuck you up. Okay, uh, I can't remember the puzzle here. I think it's one. Two. Three. Down, down. Shit. <laughs> Give me a minute. Up, up, down, down, up. Yes, it. Or is that the music box from three? <laughs> no, this isn't it, is it? Oh no, it's yep, sweet. Yeah, the dogs are scary in the uh, remake. They're cool, though. Yeah, I really need the map. I don't think I'm going there yet, nope. I think the dogs are a bit more aggressive in this game as well compared to the original. Ada, if that was you trying to kill a zombie, that was a fucking terrible shot. Who are you? Ada Wong. And what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm looking for some guy named Ada. Everyone knows Ada's middle name is Ada A C A B Wong. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. <laughs> if we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? Jesus Christ, is that by train? That's got to be by train, surely. The fucking trains in this country are ridiculous. Fucking hell, like, my friend who lives near that arcade club, they came down here, um, Ada, wait. Uh, in summer, and that took them, like, five hours on the train, it's ridiculous. And it takes me three hours to drive up there. Much of the games and movies, like fuck all, they're completely different. Uh, Paul W. S. Anderson, who made the uh, films, no, no, it's nothing. Let me it's <laughs> it's kind of hilarious how right? different they are, and like Get all the characters now. from the games that they put into the movies are treated with such contempt. What do you want? Like um, Jill here. in Resident Evil, the second Resident Evil film, it's just like has all of her cool moments taken away by that Alice character, and it's this so guy? shit. So shit. Ben, you told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell? Out of all the movies, I think the um. And who the heck? Are yeah, you? I think the first one's I'm probably the, the best film. Boyfriend. If you take it as like a separate John. sort of side story, but it's the rest of it travel. Like Resident Evil Two, the movie Apocalypse, is basically just a really crap retelling of Resident Evil Three. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I think the best thing about the um, first physical film, film is did, the, uh, the soundtrack because Marilyn Manson did it bizarrely. I'm gonna move that light because my hand keeps shining in the way. Okay, uh. I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? 
I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're going to have to leave with me. Yeah, the, the acting but isn't the greatest, but it's definitely a step up from Resident Evil 2. And they actually, sorry, Resident Evil 1. And it actually seems like they've got the localization the right. There's not really weird lines of dialogue which clearly aren't in the best of English. All right, I'm going. Okay, I need that. Yeah, I'm definitely remembering this game a lot better than I was worried. I was really worried I was going to get completely lost, but I'm mostly remembering where to go. I think my record in this is like two hours, which, if you actually look at the speed run, it's really bad. But for me, I was, I was, I was happy. I can't remember, did the dogs burst out? Yeah, they burst out if you go down there, because there's a health item, but I'm not going to forget that. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, deep in your dad. <laughs> I can't see it on here, but I just got the email notification pop up. That's a fucking great name, I need to... <laughs> Oh god, I forgot this. Oh no, I can run by the spiders, I hope. Yeah. Apparently not! Am I poisoned? Yes, I'm poisoned. But I think there's a blue herb back here, though, so that's alright. God damn it. I think there's a blue. Oh, is it in here? Yeah, um. The main reason is I was gonna if I couldn't get this working I was I was gonna do the remake, but um these sort of streams are just me sort of giving me a chance to sort of fan over the games I grew up with, so it's made more sense to play the original. Oh I use that as well, it. I'll grab that as well, but I'm not gonna use it yet. In fact what I am gonna do is because I can actually plug some of these uh plugs in. Um, right, uh, I should explain the herbs and that. Basically, uh, first aid sprays heal you completely, whereas a green herb will only take you up a little bit. Uh, a green and red herb will take you full way, and a blue herb will cure you of poison. And it's just the case of sort of combining in the right ways to get health benefits. There's yellow herbs in Resident Evil 4, which increase your maximum health, but... And also the blue herbs in the remake also give you a... Uh, damage resistance buff, so you can actually take a bit more, a few more hits. I think your score, if you use first aid sprays, your overall rank, I can't remember if it's this, it's either this one or Code Veronica or both, where if you use the first aid spray, your overall rank at the end of the game goes down as well, and you can't unlock things like the, the ultimate un, unlimited rocket launcher and stuff like that. Yeah, this part is a bit cutscene heavy, so. I don't think I've introduced myself. <sighs> My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. Really? What gave it away? The fucking police uniform? Pillock. <laughs> it's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. I love that loot just drops straight down to the septic pole. I, I love how naive and sort of innocent Leon is in this game till the very end, which is something they did put in the remake, which I thought was a really nice little touch. I guess we get to play Zayda for a little bit now. Zombies or dogs? Dogs. Th 
There's one little detail I love here, which is a spoiler, just one out. If you notice, Ada holds her gun differently and she actually can fire a bit faster than the other characters, which is a little hint as to her sort of character and her backstory. Gotta get the shotgun shell. I think it's shotgun shells here. But yeah, it's just such a, a tiny little detail they put into the game, which it's a just I love little character details like that. It's so cool. I forgot about that. But yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. If you um remember in Resident Evil One, when you have to when you're in the uh, lab, you get a uh, there's a terminal you have to access where the username is John and the password is Ada. So that she's actually the character subtly referenced in that. It's quite a cool little um. <laughs> Hint. Alright, what's this? Yeah, I've got to move this puzzle now. Uh, i got to jump over this. Actually, no, I've got to push that one first. I'm definitely doing like I'm definitely doing better than I thought I would, not just for um knowing what I'm doing, but also like actual damage I'm taking and that. As I said, this this game is a lot nicer to play than the original Resident Evil. It's kind of, you can't really tell, but the animation's a bit crisper and just the controls are a little bit tighter. Just just enough of it's a lot more You're not getting like bullshit damage like you were in the original. Also the zombie AI is way better, like you don't get the zombies what you do like go around the corner wait for a zombie to chase him and he's just sort of mashing himself against the wall but he will actually follow you a bit more accurately. I prefer the atmosphere of Resident Evil 1, but this is just objectively a better game. I just love also the, the background noise here. I've, I think I've actually put this on in the background before and just slept listening to this ambient music. It's just really creepy and yeah. I fucking love these games. <laughs> I think it's now just a cutscene on it, yeah. Leon, can you hear me? Ada. Yeah, no, I, I did, um. I found I um un well, you don't unlock right him, but I, I did the certain things at the beginning so you can see him. So he is technically still out there. We could kill him, and get the alternate costume, but I'm gonna bother. It's more. better to do that as because um, I think with Leon you get two option um two different costumes. With Claire you only get the one costume, but hey, you also get a different gun, which is um Smith and Wesson, which around. she fires quite fast, which is a really nice gun. But I'm not that first time. I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not too keen on playing as alternate what? costumes. I like unlocking them that, but it's, I'd always sort of try and play it as canon. And I don't really like Leon's alternate costumes in this game, so... Oh, no, don't forget the shotgun shells. But yes, I'm not going to spoil what happens to Brad, but you'll find out when we play Resident Evil 3, which is the one I'm really looking forward to, because that's my favourite Resident Evil game. Yeah, I'm going to save quickly first, and then we'll go do the rest. We've got to do the rest of the police station, come back here, and then we'll go into the sewers. And then the game should be sort of a bit more linear. So I think we will get this, we'll definitely get this done tonight. Resident Evil 3 is also the, the most fun to play because you have like a really nice. Uh, the best thing they're doing Resident Evil 3 is a quick turn. So in. Oh, what the hell is my control doing? Thank you. In original Resident Evil 1 and 2. Another turn round, you have to do this, this really slow little turn. Whereas in um, RE3 onwards, if you hold back and run, you, your character automatically spins around and you can just jog off, and it's great. It's such a small little thing, but it, it's so nice. I think the best game, best Resident Evil for unlocking different costumes in that is Outbreak, because you have that whole system of like, the points you collect in that, which I think is really cool. Well, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that. Do I need that? No. 
I know um, the HD remaster of uh, Resident Evil Zero had some really cool costumes for Rebecca. Like they had the original Resident Evil costume with the bandana. They had the um, Resident Evil Director's Cut costume. They had the original um, Nintendo 64 version of the uh, costume. I've got to be quiet here because I've got to remember this dodge. Yep, that's fine. This wall, that thing shoots right by. Yep, sweet. Oh, I hate spiders in these games. I think they're a bit creepy in Resident Evil 1 because the animation's a little bit janky. Right, we've got a choice to come up here. In a minute or two, we're going to get into the armory. And there's two things in there. There's a machine gun, and there's a, um... A ammo pouch. With, not an ammo pouch, an inventory pouch. You can increase your inventory by two. What ones you take in this scenario, you can't then take later on take on as Claire. So if I take the machine gun now, Claire can't have it later on. So which one should I... Oh, God. I forgot this liquor's here. No, I'm not going to waste a shotgun shell. We should only take a more shot. Yep. Go away, CC cleaner. I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, so what should I do? Should I take the machine gun now, or should I take the... This controller really hates me at the moment. Come on. There we go, Leon. Yeah, that would be cool. But yeah, what should I do? Should I take the machine gun? Should I take the hip pouch? Should I take both and fuck Claire over? Should I take Neva and help her later on? Oh, that's not good. I love that. Shit. Fuck, I completely missed that. See, I'm thinking gun because Claire has a lot more different ammo types. Because obviously she has the grenade launcher, and in like in Resident Evil 1, you can change out the ammo. So there's acid rounds, there's flame rounds, there's grenade rounds. So that may, I think that might make a bit more sense for her to have the. Um... Is there anything down here? There's a save point now, there's nothing really worth going down there for. Well, regardless, we're going to get some ammo in here anyway. Hmm. Now I'm going to take the machine gun. I'll, I'll keep clear with the... Uh... Oh, I forgot it takes up two slots as well, for fuck's sake. I'm going to save that for boss fights, though. But yeah, it's, um... Yeah, I'm going to quickly pop to the save... There's a save point down here I'm going to use. But yeah, um, like I said, it's just a bit more useful to have the different... Uh, more slots for the grenades. Because the grenade launcher in this game is so much better than the original one. Because the original one, you had to load in six shots, and then you had to use them all before you could change the ammo type. This one, you can not only change them on the fly... But you also, um, you can just load all your ammo in there, so you get like 50 rounds in there. Oh yeah, I forgot they jump down here. Yeah, it's, I've always liked that in the games, it's like, do you, do you want this? Do you, do, would you like to take it? It's up to you, I don't mind. This is where you come down like on as Claire, because then um, you have a similar situation with Ada, but you play as Sherry, who's the little girl that you'll see in the later game. Uh, okay, so what do I need? I'm not going to need that for now. Is there anything else I need? I'm going to pop this in here, because I'm going to get... Oh, hang on, let me think. Where do I get the... 
No, I better take that. Am I going to need the shotgun? No, I'm going to put the shotgun back. I'm going to stick the handgun for now. Watch this royally fuck me over. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, the game differs depending on who you play as first. So this would be um, completely different if we chose Claire first. The uh, story, especially some of the um, cutscenes later on, are completely different. Pardon me, doggo. But I just prefer the, how the story plays out with uh, Leon A. The only thing I like, from, the main thing I like from Claire B is in, um, sorry, Claire A, is if you play as Claire first, you have a whole story arc of getting uh, a anti-vaccine for Chevy when she gets infected, which isn't in this version. But I've never even heard of that game. Michigan report from hell. Nice. There's loads of, like, PS1, PS2 era uh, survival horror games which I'd love to go back and play. I, I think it's called Ghost Hunter. Obscure is a really fun one. I used to love that game. I think I've got both Obscure 1 and 2 on PC. Which, which is a series no one fucking remembers. Never played Parasite Eve, but I've heard good things. I think uh, Sphere Hunter's got a video on that. Who, by the way, if you've never seen before, fucking watch Sphere Hunt. She does loads of Resident Evil and Survival Hall videos. She's great. This is basically just talking about the guy who's made the, the weird plug locks in the sewers. Because apparently everyone in Raccoon City is just obsessed with fucking weird locks. I do like in the remake they actually turned to the um, plugs to not just be the watchmaker. It's actually like a company who do like these all quirky little locks. But yeah, that cable I saw earlier on where the liquor burst out of the uh, interrogation room, you can put the cable in here and that'll put shutters down and stop zombies infesting this area later on. Which I kind of wish I'd done now. Where is the... Token, that's the opposite end of the fucking... I might be able to... No, it's not going to have time. Nope, never mind. Uh, right, where do I need to go now? But we're gonna save that for later, but the Magnum is fucking great in this game. Yeah, but I know where to go. Let's go this way. I like the fact you can see that zombie's still alive, but the fact his head just turns wherever you move. That's always one... I can't remember if it's in the original one, but... Uh, yeah, it is in the original, but you can always tell when a zombie's on the floor just playing possum. Because his head's just like, Oh, he's coming for me! Oh, he's coming for me! Honestly, get OBS. OBS it just does everything for you. It's so simple to get and run and just to do, even if you're not streaming it, just to record a gameplay footage like this. It's it's a really nice little tool. The closest thing I got to Let's Play was, was I tried to do like a whole playthrough of James Bond everything or nothing by um recording it on video and then stopping the video when it was loading up a level and that. I was trying to make like a, a movie version. It it didn't work. No, I need to set the top auto. Why is this not... I mean, can't be any worse than some of the stuff I had on my channel before. This is not a fucking shitty Doctor Who fan film. It's, it's the problem is, like I said, I'm, I'm not getting, like, even from the YouTube videos, I'm not getting the audience I would usually with the Doctor Who stuff, but, let's go here. I'm, in, I'm at the end of the day, it's either these go up or I just don't make content, and I'm enjoying making these at the moment. Oh, I was worried I, I was worried I didn't have the light then, but I remember Leon has it as default. I would, one day I would like to do a Dot 2 fan film, but it's just so much planning and effort.
There's, there's quite a sort of a surge of um, retro horror games now. Like, uh, is it Puppet Combo who make those sort of um, lo-fi, really creep, like the um, Power Drill Massacre and that sort of thing. They're they're a really cool company for games. Okay, if I go here, up, yep. Just trying to plan out where I've got to go here in my in my head. Down. I play. Did you play that one? What is it called? Um, is it like police something over? It? It's like this uh, first-person lo-fi horror game, which I got like a few seconds into. I was like, no, I'm not doing this. It's like four in the morning. I'm gonna shit myself. <laughs> I like horror games, but I'm susceptible to jump scares quite badly. And the thing with Resident Evil is this, the jump scares are sort of built up to like a proper horror film, whereas some indie games don't quite get how to do jump scares, so they just sort of shoot out of nowhere. And that, yeah, that, I don't I don't like that. Did I go for Crank? Do I have space for this? Oh, I forgot he spawned there as well. Uh, crank... That's going to be used, right? Yeah, when the um, lickers hunch up like that, that means they're listening for you, so you can... Okay, forget it. <laughs> I thought I understood the AI, I don't! Yeah, and this is now where the um, police station gets reinvested. So like I said, if I'd used that cable either here or in the other place, it would have um, stopped them spawning in like this. It's not too much of a problem because I'm not going back there, but this way I've got to go through in a minute, and that's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. I think a Jun. Uh, Jun is it Junjito? I can't pronounce it properly. I think that might be why, I don't know. Um, I think his art style is fantastic, I love his stuff. It's really unsettling. Junji, Junji Ito. I'm not very good with Japanese names. That's why I've not named the um, directors of this game because I fuck it up so badly. And thankfully, this is the only place you have to use this fucking crank. It's not like Resident Evil One. We have to keep carrying this entire thing throughout the entire bloody caves. And this is the last plug, and that's the police station all done. No! Get oh yeah, we've still got enough of like hours of the game, I think. If I'm slow, I think probably about 45 minutes, maybe. If not, like I said, it'll be on YouTube anyway. Also, that's hot. Just, just throwing that out there. Mm, impregnate me, oh, eyeball daddy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Again, his death varies on depending on who you play as first. Yeah, we're only sort of about halfway through the game, but the, the next part will go a bit ben. faster because it's a bit more linear and I can remember what I'm doing. Can you still hear me? Come on, answer! Damn! I don't believe this. I almost got the story. <laughs> ben. Ben. Oh, there's a green herb in there. Uh, <laughs> and this guy's dying, but I'm like, oh, there's, there's, some, there's some weed in the corner. The chief of police. Coke and spear Get that scum. Make him pay.
Hang in there, Ben. Oh. Also, I love this death scene. Chest. It's burning. What's wrong? That's so fucked up. 